Hello, YouTube land. <coughs> Excuse me. Hope everybody's well. Two things I'm going to cover in this video is that um, George Soros' nephew, Peter Soros, is on the hot seat for being in Epstein's little black book. More on that in a minute. But this caught my eye. The attack on Omar again. You know, 9-11, the evidence shows that it was Mossad. It was Israel. You have Israeli soldiers confessing to it on videos. We posted some. They get pulled down. A lot of people know it was an inside job. I mean, the evidence is overwhelming especially with the dancing Israelis. Now, my question to everybody out there, in all fairness, if you were blamed for something that you didn't do, wouldn't you want to try and expose the people who did? My suspicion is that the dual Israeli citizens that are in Congress and the Senate are trying to drum out Omar because she's outspoken and she's a Muslim. Now I'm not for the Muslim religion and so please don't even bother with the comments that um, I'm anti-American or whatever. I'm for the truth. And the truth show that Mossad and Israel is responsible. And you people need to wake up. I mean, Netanyahu said he was going to suck America dry. Uh, and then when it, it when it's all dry, we're going to use it up. And when it's all dry, it's going to blow away. Some kind of bullshit like that. Plus, we even showed you the hidden tapes of how terrible Netanyahu speaks about America and Americans. Same with uh, Perez Sharon. And previous PMs. In the document where um, Israel's been after Iran for 70 years. And Iran hasn't done anything to anybody. It's Israel bombing them. That's all I want to say on this for now. But I want to go back and show you this. Very interesting. Sorry, things are slow. I think they're slowing down networks just so, you, yeah, they're trying to impeach her, which is, let's impeach a congresswoman for speaking her mind. Yeah, that's a good idea. Take away your freedoms. And I think that's part of what she had said, made a comment, because some people did something because we saw a decline in our freedoms or something like that. She wasn't making light of what happened. She's trying to shine a light on who actually did it. Okay, back to this. And this is a news report that came out about an hour ago. A little black book of names and addresses kept by Jeffrey Epstein's butler includes many rich and powerful people, including George Soros' investment banker nephew, Peter Soros, who shows up alongside Bill Richardson, Alec Baldwin, and others. Uh, that's kind of weird. The Soros-Epstein connection is less clearly defined and at this time, based on available knowledge, than the clear relationship between Epstein and former Democrat President Bill Clinton. Court documents show Jeffrey Epstein had 21 different phone numbers for Bill Clinton. Epstein's personal phone directly from his computer contained email addresses for Clinton along with 21 numbers for him, including those for his assistant, Doug Band, his schedulers, and what appears to be Clinton's personal numbers. This information certainly leads one to believe that Clinton might well 
be a source of relevant information and efforts to obtain discovery from him were recently calculated to lead to admissible evidence according to the court documents from a civil case filed by victims against Epstein. It is a dummy for you. AOC. I mean, brilliance and idiocy. I mean, boy. Okay, anyways, sorry. Now remember, Epstein is a Jewish multi-billionaire who got his start, I believe, from the Rockefellers. He once worked as a mathematics teacher. And Acosta recently said that intelligence told him to back off. Oh no, I'm excuse me, that he was told to back off from pursuing Epstein or throwing him in jail forever because he was part of intelligence. And it is my deduction. So what that means is it, Israeli intelligence. Now I call your attention to all the documents we posted over the last year about Israel being the kingpin in child trafficking. And the documents were from the UN, the ICC, the European community, and we also posted the email to Clinton where Obama cut a deal with Netanyahu that said any crimes any of the other countries bring up they will attack those country uh, any I, I'm sorry I didn't finish my sentence any crimes any country brings up at the UN against Israel that the US would accuse the other country of being anti-semitic and they had gone around to other countries bribing them to play along. So this is how Israel has been getting away with it. And this is not a Democrat or Republican thing separate. This is a both thing. Now remember, Nancy Pelosi took a plane full of underage kids over to Israel and spent almost $300,000 on a party. She claimed, although the children were multiracial, they were her family. There was no investigation. Now Gideon had put up a Twitter storm about that. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before. Um, and he actually asked the FBI to investigate it. And it turned dead. And what about Clinton in that mysterious video that she has supposedly raped and killed a child. No investigation. Trump had Pompigio go over to North Korea and arrest the guy and no one's heard anything about him since. They did a smear campaign on him saying that he was head of pedophile ring and they caught him trying to post more videos of Clinton allegedly killing more girls. I'm going to leave a link to this article. My big question is, and this is a question everyone should be calling New York about, the prosecutors, why has not Jeffrey Epstein's assets been seized? Everyday America, everyday Americans, have their assets seized on just simply suspicion. We must push for this. His All of his assets, including his island, must be seized if they are really serious about this. And what I'm disappointed in, in the YouTubers, a lot of them, is that they're not saying Jewish Billionaire Jeffrey Epstein charged with child trafficking. 
Because you know they do that to everybody else. They'll say, yeah, black man did this. The white man did this. Uh, the Muslim did that. But you never hear it's the Jewish man. Of course, the Jewish man always likes to push it on the white man. Anyways, I'm probably at 15 minutes. I'll leave a link. But the who's who of everybody. We all knew this. So, I'm not saying that uh, Acosta should be hailed as some kind of hero. Uh, here it is right here. Labor uh, Secretary Alexander Acosta, former Miami prosecutor, reportedly cut Jeffrey Epstein a deal in Epstein's previous case because he was told that Epstein belonged to intelligence. Epstein's now stands criminally accused of child trafficking. Now, in some of the weekly documents that we posted, the girls were as young as 12. Now, I don't care whoever went over to that island. They had to know something was wrong. Now, I remember reading an article when Melania Trump had mentioned um, that she th thought it was odd there were so many young girls I don't remember if she said there were so many young girls on the plane or so many young girls on the island because it's been I think a couple years since I read that article I'll have to look it up well unfortunately um, the poor little gray kitty um, evidently his life wasn't motivating enough for anybody to donate and I'm not downing anybody everybody knows things are tight I know my friend really really hoped and I really really hoped that um, we could save his life and he just needs medical care I mean he needs some to you know some topical fluids some antibiotics he has an upper respiratory infection but you know he's gonna die because we don't have the money and somebody threw him out and I do believe it's up to other people other humans to mop up the mess of other humans have a blessed day everyone there it is my little icon I have to beat it